hello everyone this is sampath in the today video tutorial i am going to show how to flog a material for deletion how to block a material for procurement and how to change the material master moving average and standard price okay without any further ado let's get started to flog for deletion a particular material we can use the transaction code mm06 just enter the transaction code mm06 now press enter key here we can flock for deletion in multiple levels for example we can flock for deletion in client level or plant level or sales organization level or warehouse level okay in first case i am going to show it in client level okay just enter the material don't enter any organization levels now press enter key yeah here select this material checkbox if we select this material checkbox a system flock for deletion at client level okay now press enter key see below all the checkboxes are automatically selected okay now save it yes my material is successfully saved now i'm going to create a purchase order put transaction code me21n press enter key enter vendor master enter all the basic details i'm going to enter quantity 100 quantity okay enter your plant press enter key yes here system not allowing to create the purchase order why because we flogged for deletion okay here it is showing the error message we can convert this error message to warning message okay how we can convert this error message to warning message that i will show now okay go to the transaction code slash n s p r o now press enter key so before that we can note down the error message number okay don't worry error message number i already know this is me051 okay now click on sap reference img go to material management here purchasing here go to environment data here just execute define attributes of system messages double click on system messages okay just scroll down so my version is 00 application area is me and error message number is 05 okay this is my error message number so here it is showing e e stands for error okay just press f4 key here we have the multiple options either we can set no message warning message or error message in this case i'm going to set warning message so just double click on warning message now save it click on right mark now go to purchase order slash n me 21 n now press enter key enter the vendor master enter your material master enter quantity enter all required basic details yes error message is converted to warning message okay now i'm going to block in particular plant how it works we can check it now okay go to transaction code mm06 press enter key yeah here first we can remove the client level checkbox just remove this checkbox press enter key save it now enter the plant plant i'm going to enter thousand plant now press enter key okay just select this checkbox now save it okay now i'm going to create purchase order Go to transaction code ME21N. Okay. Enter the material. Enter the sorry, enter the vendor. Enter the material. Same material I'm going to enter in below rows. Okay. Why? Because I will put different plant. That's why I'm going to enter in different lines. It's 50 quantity. Okay. Now put the rate 10 euro okay enter the plant thousand 
enter thousand hundred plant now press enter key yes just click on this message it's flagged for deletion okay now check this warning message see here we can observe the different warning messages for example for thousand plant system showing material flagged for deletion and uh, 1100 plant it is showing some other messages warning messages okay now i am going to block a particular material for purchasing how i can block we can block by using the transaction code mm02 enter the transaction code mm02 now press enter key enter your material master press enter key now press enter key enter your organization details press enter key here we can block for purchasing in two levels either client level or in particular plant level to block for purchase in client level we need to select the explant status here if we select the explant status 01 system blocks for procurement in all the plants okay close it go to the MRP one view if we select the plant special material status 01 it blocks for procurement in particular plant here select 01 now save it now I am going to create purchase order go to transaction code ME21N enter your vendor master enter material enter quantity enter price enter plant yes now system showing the error message why because we blocked for procurement in particular plant okay same material okay just click on new purchase order click on no same material i'm going to create in another plant same purchase order i'm going to create in another plant we'll see is it shows or any message or not in 1100 plant yes system not showing the any message here okay this x plant status or plant special material status we can configure in configuration to configure it go to the transaction code spro click on sap reference img here go to logistics general go to material master settings for key fields here define material status execute it now select 01 click on details so here we can define the new block key okay we can block for a particular material to create bill of material and to maintain the inventory management and in virus also now i am going to show the how to change standard price or moving average price go to transaction code mm02 press enter key enter your material master press enter key enter your plant go to accounting one view see here here in mm02 it is not possible to change the price if we want to change the price of the particular material whether it is moving average or standard price we need to use the transaction code mr21 go to transaction code mr21 now press enter key enter basic details here posting date company code and plant now press enter key enter your material master this is my material master now press enter key here we can see price of the particular material okay here I am going to change it to new price 12 euro okay now press enter key 
save it when i save system parallelly creates the accounting entries now save it yes we successfully saved it okay now click on display document to see the accounting entries press enter key to see the accounting entries click on accounting documents now double click on accounting documents see here this is the accounting entries here system created two accounting entries one is the stock account gets debited another one is profit or loss account here price is increased okay that's why this loss account gets credited and stock account gets debited now we can check it in material master accounting one view go to transaction code mm03 press enter key enter your material press enter key enter all the organization details go to accounting one view yes my price is successfully changed in bonus tip i am going to show how to extend a material master to multiple storage locations go to transaction code mm yes c press enter key enter your material and enter your plant now press enter key here enter your storage locations for example 3001 3003 3002 and 3003 now press enter key now save it now my material is successfully extended to 3002 and 3003 storage locations that's it today video tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel if you have any suggestions or any queries please comment me thank you